In this video, I will be showing you how to make medium-sized gelatinous cubes for D&D or Pathfinder. I will be making the slimes out of these two acrylic ice cubes. They originally came from an ice cube snowman Christmas decoration that broke and was going to be thrown out. Alternatively, you could buy a set of 20 for $16 on Amazon.ca, which is a really good deal. To paint these things up, I'm using the highly recognized method of finger painting. I'm going to use moot green even though it's an opaque paint. The lines from my finger create some degree of translucency. I smeared this on all sides of the cube except for the bottom because it makes it easier to glue onto a base. I did make bases for these cubes also to sit on out of cardboard, PVA glue, and basic flocking like fine sand. For the cube that already had holes in it from the snowman arms and head, I drilled in a hole for the toothpick to sit in to look like a spear. This is super tough material though, so you may end up melting the drill bit if you aren't careful. That happened to me, otherwise I would have gone all the way through and had the spear going completely through the thing. For the large hole at the top, I took one of my low quality skulls from hot glue casting and glued it in place. Some hot glue covered up the hole on the other side and made the cube look like it was oozing. Next, I sprayed the cubes down with Ardcoat varnish to make them shiny, but I missed a side because I spray painted in the cold night, and after this I felt like they looked boring. To add variation to the cubes, I painted on a layer of Coily green shade. This stuck surprisingly well considering that it went over some gloss varnish. Then I gave the cubes one last clear coat to finish them off. Even though the skull has little detail, it works really well because it looks like the features were either dissolved or consumed by the slime. There's one more awesome feature to show you with these, they actually glow green when held up to a light. Your DM could use LEDs embedded in the cubes too if they wanted. This green glow creates immersion, looks cool, and could make for interesting D&D night battles. Considering their simplicity, I'd say that these turned out great. I really love these gelatinous cube miniatures, and I hope that you enjoyed this video too. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video, if you liked it, please do give me a like and a sub, because it really helps me out, and I will see you all in my next video, goodbye!